Hello, 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 and welcome to another Angry Unit of the Reek. Today, we're taking a look at the HE-46E-2UN off-map recon plane. The Heinkel 46 was a German reconnaissance aircraft that was introduced into the Luftwaffe in 1936, with around about 500 being built. Yo, know, they wouldn't really see much in terms of actual wartime service on the German side of things, as they were pretty much replaced by the HS-126 by 1938. So, all of these older aircraft ran pretty much sent over to Hungary for the preparation of Operation Barbarossa, where the Hungarians reduced them. Skoda 305mm is a relatively old artillery piece for the time, as it was introduced into Austrian-Hungarian service in 1911. It would be used by Austrian Hungarians and the German Empire during the First World War as a siege artillery gun. After the war ended, a lot of these guns would end up being acquired by former Austrian Hungarian countries such as Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Austria, etc. And by the Second World War, a lot of these former countries were still using this artillery piece, including the Hungarians who would end up using it on the Eastern Front. In game, the HE46E is a 110 point off map recon plane available exclusively to the 12th Tartar Lake Division. And it has two weapons. So the first weapon is the airplane itself, as it only has a single rear mounted machine gun. Not really going to help you out much if you get chased down by pretty much anything. It's a very slow plane, but it calls in the off map and it has recon optics, so it can spot stuff, which is quite nice. And then you got the off-map artillery itself, the 305mm Skoda Morsa M11. You have 48 shots of it, which pretty much corresponds to two salvos, as each salvo suits 24 shots. It's a uh, it's pretty big artillery, as you can tell. Makes rather large kabooms with 15 high explosive damage. In battle, this is a rather useful off-map artillery plane to have for Tartalek. As you may know, Tartalank is not exactly a great division per se, but this helps out quite a bit because it just completely annihilates an entire area in a rather quick manner. The 305mm may not be the largest of off-map artillery calibers, but it's still pretty big. Anything that gets hit by it will pretty much die for the most part. You can even kill tanks with this off-map artillery. This is a very useful tool for pretty much delaying pushes if you're being pushed heavily in one flank by a heavily armoured tank force and you don't have anti-tank nearby, it solves that problem. Or if you want to saturate an area before doing some sort of infantry assault. It's essentially a flying I delete button and that's always rather useful. You do get them in B phase and C phase, it doesn't have great availability, only 1 and B and 2 and C and you only get 2 cards worth of these. We got a decent amount of artillery selection for Tartalek, so this is still a useful unit to pick even with its low availability. I'd highly recommend taking it, it really saves you a lot of hassle of having to deal with pretty much giant enemy blobs, this is the blob deleter. And well, I'm gonna leave it off at that, it's been another Rangroosh unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and usual, please just take it easy.